Hyper real estate became the latest casualty of the credit crunch, highlighting the fact that the crisis has spilled over U.S. borders to swallow up banks in Europe. But here in Asia, China's top leaders have had minimal exposure. For more on how Chinese banks have managed to avert most of the damage, we're joined by Joseph Muse in Washington, D.C. He's the founder of Belmont Partners, and thank you so much for joining us this morning. So talk to us about how the lending practices are different in China and the United States. You know, it's almost the exact opposite of how the United States has operated over the last few years. Uh, certainly the problem we have today in the U.S. is that there's been a lend, lend, lend mentality by banks. Uh, in China, they're focused on inflation, and the Chinese government has raised the uh, reserve ratio uh, 17 times in the last two years, trying to almost stop the banks from lending. That I think it's, uh, it's really important to understand that in uh, China, that the reserve ratio is almost twice what it is here in the U.S. And the U.S. financial crisis stems from the mortgage fallout. Is there any fear that we could see anything like that in China? I don't think so. I, I think it's uh, also worth noting that the, the Chinese government officials are conservative by nature. A lot of them are, are trained engineers. Uh, and they have a, a philosophy which I think is very smart, which is if they don't understand it, if it doesn't make sense, then they're not going to invest in it. And they've taken a very conservative approach uh, to investing here in the U.S. Certainly a lot of, uh, of government treasuries, uh, dollars, agency bonds. Uh, but they've, uh, they've stayed away, again, very conservative in their, uh, in their investing mentality. And tell us how the passive, passage of the rescue um, bill, which is now law, is, is going to affect markets in China, if you know, at all. It, it, it's so hard to tell. I, I, I thought for sure on Friday that uh, with the passage, the market would end up on Friday. It didn't. Uh, here in the U.S., uh, there's, there's a lot of fear that's going around in the market. A uh, lot of uh, references to the Great Depression, Warren Buffett talking about how this is like Pearl Harbor. Um, so it, I think it's really hard to gauge. And we live in a world now that's not uh, about the, the Chinese markets or the Hong Kong markets or the U.S. markets. It's, it's a global market. Uh, what, I, what I do believe is that the uh, Chinese government sitting on you know, two trillion uh, dollars in uh, in forex reserves uh, certainly has the ability to um, uh, to wait it out and and to uh, make sure that there's good uh, stable growth over the long term. Uh, the uh, there's a great story about the uh, Chinese government meeting back in the early part of this decade talking about financial derivatives. The explanation was given that it's like holding an object in front of a mirror and tilting that mirror to at another mirror and at another mirror until this object is multiplied into infinity and they didn't understand it they said it doesn't make sense to us again I think they're relatively uh, conservative by nature and they didn't invest in it I think that conservative mentality is really saving them right now and Joseph later this month China is expected to announce a stimulus package so we are seeing some signs of slow I mean slow uh, you know in our in the growth you're certainly seeing some slowdown, but uh, you know there's still uh, net importers of uh, a lot of, of commodities, uh, uh, things like automobiles. Uh, you know, you look at GM in the U.S., they're losing a lot of money. You look at GM in China, they're making a lot of money. And one of the things that uh, people in the U.S. I don't believe realize is that uh, China is now a, a large consumer of U.S. goods and, and, and services. And in, in past global recessions where the, China, where the U.S. would lead us out of the recession, now it's my belief and the belief of a number of other people that the Chinese economy is going to lead us out. 